Alright, so you want to know how to get the SB Dunk Low Lobsters? Bro, you in the right place to get them. And I'm going to show you how anybody can get them in this video. Alright, so we seen these drop earlier in the month. Concepts dropped a special box. Nike did a sneaker pass. They dropped a special box. And actually what Concept did was attempt to do a drop because that drop was a mess. It was heavily botted, resulting in them canceling some orders, doing another drop. But if you really know what's going on, then bro, you know that back door was just open. Especially for the special box pair because see, in a special box pair, a lot of times those are more coveted because they have more resale and why they have more resale because it's not just the shoe it's a bunch of cool collector stuff that comes with it so on a shoe like this that was 100 expected because once again this shoe has a lot of hype like actually bro i believe there's actually like a collection of lobster dunks they have them in all different kind of colorways all of them have extreme hype and demand and resale value but with such a low retail on this shoe i mean the shoe retails it comes in at 130 on the market i i predict that they're gonna go for about 450 500 so you can see everybody wants action at this shoe and also before we get started let me know if you hit on the special box release if you hit on concepts or if you hit the sneakers pass all right now i'm about to tell you everywhere you can get these and i'm gonna start with your very best chance of getting these and that is of course our favorite app the sneakers app now the stock numbers on this shoe i mean they always have like a number that they put out but as we've seen with the lost and founds as we've seen with the travises i mean like with the travises there was a rumored 200k stock however we only seen 90,000 release on sneakers so where's the rest of them i know some released on travis i know some released on different skate shops but it just did not feel like 200,000 of those shoes are circulating in the population right now so ever the stock numbers is we know that this shoe is going to be hard to get it's going to be limited but the but the reason why sneakers is 90 percent of the time going to be your best chance to get most of these kind of hype shoes is because we know by now that nike and sneakers usually has a bulk of the stock which is why once again i don't think there was 200,000 travis's now i seen somewhere that four million people entered for the travis scott lows and there was about a little under 90k right so if you do that math that puts each account at about a two percent chance to win now if you've been watching me for the past i don't know month then you know that i've been heavily pushing the idea of using multiple nike accounts and i actually have a method that i use to where i'm kind of manually botting the sneakers app i'm actually holding a class tonight by the time you see this it may or may not be too late click the link in the bio if you want to join and learn that process but multiple accounts is pretty much our only way to have action at a shoe like this and, and once again it's simple math is simple probability now one thing i learned on the travis scott lows bro nike bot detection is stepping up and what i mean is is that a lot of you that's like bro i can't even get inside the app i can't get my payment information in i can't even confirm my entry that's why because you're honestly you're being filtered out as a bot and you got to think these are people there's sometimes there's there's hundreds of thousands of extra entries in these drawings right so what that means is is that i almost think it's impossible for nike to have a perfect system that filters out bots so you're going to use as many accounts as possible use your mom's phone use your dad's phone use your girlfriend's phone if you get with me in my discord i can kind of i don't like saying too much on here but if you get with me in my discord i can kind of lead the way help you find help you figure out who's going to help you do that so your most important things are going to be if you're running multiple accounts the first thing i want you to understand is the ip addresses right the ip address is pretty much your computer your phones your internet connections basically identification number when it comes to these platforms so think of sneakers as a big club right everybody's trying to get into this club and once you get inside only selected people are going to get picked to get a bottle or whatever and a lot of y'all not old enough but when you go to the club you got to show your id right so if it's one if it's limit one entry per person then boom if you take your id and then boom your id shows up again they're gonna say wait a minute you're a bot get out of here so the best thing you can do if you have wi-fi at your house have one device connected to wi-fi then if you have a phone right have one then have your phone don't have your phone on wi-fi have it on its own cellular data connection also if you have a phone that has a hotspot use that for another device because your cellular connection and then the hotspot connection is going to be two separate ips so if you have a hotspot on the device maybe and you have a third device then go ahead and disable that and then that way you're going to be able to get all your entries in and you're they're not going to say okay this is all the same person coming from the same person the next most important thing when it comes to multiple nike accounts 
is jigging your address. Jigging your address is basically the process of altering your address so that these same bot protection softwares cannot detect that, hey, all these are going to the same address or all these people with the same address are entering into the draw. You don't want to get filtered out that way. So what you're going to do is you're going to jig your address. If your address is 123 Main Street, then on one account, put 123 Main Street. On the second account, put 123 Main S-T-R-E-E-T, -E -E right? And then on the third one, put 123 Main Street Room 1. You see what I'm saying? That's ultimately just slight jigs that you can do. It's called jigging. It's slight jigs that you can do to pretty much guarantee that they will not detect you as a bot and that they will not filter you out of these drawings. The third most important thing that a lot of people always ask me is, bro, payment methods. What Can I use the same payment methods? No, you cannot use the same payment methods because once again, these think, think about it from Nike's perspective. If you're the person over filtering out bots, right? It's little stuff like that is honestly going to be the first thing that you look for when it comes to filtering people out, right? So if this is one limit one per customer, then I can look at I can look at IP addresses, I can look at addresses, and I can look at payment methods, right? If all these match on several accounts, we're gonna filter them out. So you definitely need different payment methods right now. Of course, you could use you could use Apple Pay, you could use PayPal. Um, if you have to use cards, you can use your bank card. Um, a lot of the times you can use your credit card, then you could turn around and maybe get a cash app card or something like that and just use those different payment methods so that you're not getting filtered out as a bot now another thing i want to talk about because i got a population of people on here who say bro i don't have i don't i don't have the means to get multiple accounts i don't have other people who have phones around me do i have action with my one account yes you do and here's why there's some people's account, bro, who no matter what the odds are, they're going to hit. And one thing I noticed about people with these type of accounts, that they shop at Nike regularly, they watch the lives, they just have human activity on their account, right? So what, what does that mean, right? Don't just go for drops, right? Don't just go for drops because think about it. Once again, think about this from the perspective of whoever heads bot protection at Nike. If this account only goes for drops, who's only going for big name drops? Who's only doing that? Resellers, right? Bots, right? That's who's doing that, right? So maybe buy some socks one time. If there's a shoe you like and it's not that hype, buy it. Because ultimately, with there being a bot protection system, there has to be a way that they're ranking people as far as their account reputation score. And I just can't see a situation where nothing looks better on your account as far as shopping out of the store shopping period right and I, I can even with me with with me sort of using several accounts I can start to see that okay these are these accounts hit more than other because these accounts have that payment history so you have to think about that as well the only other thing because I know a lot of people are looking for something something mechanical that I can do to up my chances the only thing that you could do really is shut down other apps right your comp your phone is a computer ultimately right and a lot of the times if you're trying to get in on these draws and it's lagging it's slow that's because just like these computers behind me your phone has what's called a processor and when too many things are running on that processor other programs become slow so what i personally do if i'm running sneakers on my phone is i shut down every single app besides sneakers because i don't want the app crashing i don't want no mishaps all right now as far as other places you can get these shoes there are a bunch of skate shops a bunch of places doing raffles right and i want to give you some sauce about that too because ultimately with these raffles it's a chance game just like the sneakers app honestly and so like on i know concepts is doing one kith is doing one let me check matter of fact i'm gonna check real time for y'all and see how many raffles just of the lobsters i can see and just name out names you know what i mean all right so boom premier store raffle um it's open right now if you're watching this video the day of concepts civil extreme board shop it's just so many places bro no comply skate shop king skate shop and all these places are doing raffles and they're not just doing local raffles they're doing online raffles and they're gonna be able to ship this around the country so man join my discord bro i'm giving a lot of sauce i'm just kind of educating people and letting people know that hey time to stop taking l's man rico gang love y'all let's get it if see y'all in class tonight if you got a seat i'm super excited go cowboys we gonna beat the eagles let's get it